Welcome to Global Report, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Imagine a headline splashed across the news. Thousands of Florida pythons found beheaded. Scientists shocked by the stunning culprit. It sounds like the plot of a suspenseful crime novel, doesn't it? The kind of story that grabs your attention and refuses to let go. But behind the sensational headlines lies a reality that's even more compelling and far more important for the future of Florida's wild spaces. This isn't a crime scene. It's a story of everyday heroes. People who dedicate their lives to protecting the fragile beauty of the Florida Everglades. Every day they step into the swamps, not for glory, but for the survival of an entire ecosystem. The real culprits behind the python removals are registered hunters, scientists, and wildlife officials. They work side by side, combining expertise and determination to remove an invasive species that's been devastating the Everglades for decades. The focus isn't on the shocking way these snakes are found, but on the urgent reasons they must be removed. Burmese pythons, once released or escaped into the wild, have multiplied rapidly, outcompeting native species and throwing the ecosystem out of balance. This is a battle for balance, a fight to give native animals like herons, alligators, and deer a fighting chance against a formidable, non-native predator. Every python removed is a step toward restoring the natural order. Welcome to the annual Florida Python Challenge, where passionate conservationists, volunteers, and even everyday citizens brave the swamps to make a real difference. It's a unique event that brings together people from all walks of life, united by a common goal. Over the next few scenes, we'll dive into the fascinating story of how these pythons arrived in Florida, why their presence is such a threat, and how the Python Challenge is helping to turn the tide in this ongoing battle. We'll meet the people on the front lines, hunters, scientists, and even a record-breaking champion, each with their own story and motivation for joining the fight. And we'll clear up the confusion about those beheaded pythons, exploring the strict rules and humane protocols that guide every removal, ensuring the process is ethical and respectful to both wildlife and the environment. This isn't a mystery to be solved, it's a conservation success story in the making, and one that deserves to be celebrated by all who care about the future of Florida's wild heart. Burmese pythons aren't native to Florida, they're from Southeast Asia. In the 1980s and 90s they became popular pets, but baby pythons grow fast, sometimes over 18 feet long. Many owners, unprepared for such giants, released them into the wild, thinking it was humane. Instead, they unleashed an ecological disaster. The Everglades' warm, wet environment was perfect for these adaptable predators. With no natural enemies, their population exploded. One female can lay up to a hundred eggs at a time. Now, tens of thousands slither through South Florida, masters of camouflage and nearly impossible to find. Their invasion has devastated the ecosystem. Pythons eat almost anything, birds, eggs, mammals, creating a survival crisis for native species. They've become the top predator, disrupting a food web balanced for thousands of years. Their presence pushes native wildlife to the brink, that's why the fight against them is so urgent. The stakes couldn't be higher for Florida's natural heritage. Florida needed a bold solution, one that could match the scale and urgency of the Python invasion threatening its iconic Everglades. The delicate balance of this unique ecosystem was at stake, and something had to be done before it was too late. So the Florida Python Challenge was born a unique event that brings together people from all walks of life to confront this crisis head-on. Organized by state agencies and conservation groups, it's part competition, part conservation mission, and open to almost anyone willing to take on the challenge. Participants, from seasoned professionals to curious first-timers, travel from across the country and even Canada, united by a shared purpose. While there are prizes for those who capture the most or largest pythons, most join out of a deep passion for wildlife and a desire to restore balance to the Everglades. All hunters must complete training on Python identification, safe searching and humane removal ensuring that every participant is prepared to act responsibly and safely in the field. The challenge lasts about 10 days in the heat of summer when pythons are most active and the Everglades are buzzing with life. Hunters trek through swamps and canals, often at night, braving mosquitoes, 
thick vegetation, and unpredictable weather as they search for these elusive snakes. The event removes hundreds of pythons each year, providing immediate relief for native wildlife and giving struggling species a fighting chance. It also raises public awareness, turning a daunting environmental problem into a community-driven effort that inspires action and hope. The Python Challenge empowers ordinary people to become guardians of the Everglades, showing that anyone can make a difference. It's a model for how public action, when united by a common goal, can tackle even the toughest environmental crises and inspire future generations. Everyone can play a role in protecting our wild places, because the future of the Everglades and all wild spaces depends on the choices we make together. The 20,000 sweats, board your densum so, I'm now the five. Fun 5 Florida Python Challenge, held July 10th to 20th, broke records. 934 participants from 30 states and Canada removed a staggering 294 pythons, far surpassing previous years. In the professional category, Donna Khalil removed 56 pythons. Novice winner Krista Hoekstra caught 14. Military winner John Southworth took 5. The prize for longest snake went to Michal Murawski, who captured a 15-foot 11-inch giant. Every python removed means more native animals survive. The event showcases the power of citizen science and teamwork between agencies and the public. But the biggest story? For the first time, a woman took the top overall prize. Taylor Stanberry's record-breaking performance redefined what it means to be a python hunter. Her story is a new chapter in this conservation effort. Taylor Stanberry, 29, from Naples, Florida, made headlines when she won the $10,000 grand prize in the state's annual python removal challenge. She achieved this by removing an astonishing 60 pythons in just 10 days, an incredible feat that's triple last year's winning total and a new record for the event. As the first woman ever to claim the top spot, Taylor has become a trailblazer and a role model for women in wildlife conservation, inspiring others to join the fight against invasive species. Taylor works as a professional python removal contractor, dedicating her career to protecting Florida's fragile ecosystems from the threat of invasive pythons. But during the competition, she pushed herself further than ever before, spending long nights and early mornings in the wild, determined to make a difference. With her husband by her side, Taylor navigated remote and challenging waterways, often hunting under the cover of darkness when pythons are most active. She bravely caught massive snakes by hand, demonstrating both skill and courage in the face of danger. Her biggest breakthrough came when she discovered a hidden nest containing about 30 hatchlings, a critical find that prevented dozens of new pythons from entering the ecosystem. This discovery catapulted her to the top of the leaderboard and showcased her deep understanding of python behavior and habitats. Taylor's motivation is rooted in her passion for conservation. She plans to use her prize money to support her own animal sanctuary, helping even more wildlife in need. For Taylor, it's never been about fame or fortune. Her true reward is knowing she's helping to protect Florida's native wildlife and restore balance to the ecosystem. She sees herself as a guardian of the land, committed to preserving the natural beauty and diversity of her home state. Taylor's record-breaking win is a testament to her dedication, passion, and the heart and soul of the conservation movement. Her story is already inspiring a new generation of conservationists, showing that with determination and heart, anyone can make a real difference for the planet. Let's clear up the headlines about beheaded pythons. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission enforces strict, humane rules for python removal. Hunters must first render the snake unconscious, usually with a captive bolt gun, then destroy the brain using a method called pithing. Decapitation is only allowed if immediately followed by pithing the brain in the severed head, because a snake's brain can remain active after decapitation. Guns are banned to protect native wildlife. The image of beheaded pythons is a misunderstanding of a carefully regulated process. Hunters are trained and monitored to ensure ethical treatment. The goal remove invasive snakes with respect for the animal and the ecosystem. It's serious work, done by people who understand their responsibility. 
the Everglades is a delicate ecosystem, and Burmese pythons have thrown it into chaos. As apex predators, they've wiped out over 90% of some native mammal populations. Raccoons, opossums, and marsh rabbits have nearly vanished. Even deer and alligators aren't safe. This decline ripples through the food web, threatening predators like the endangered Florida panther. Pythons also devastate bird populations, raiding nests and consuming eggs and adults. The loss of these animals threatens the entire Everglades ecosystem. Eradication is impossible, but control and containment are vital. Every python removed is a small but crucial victory for native species. Python control isn't just about numbers, it's about restoring the Everglades, protecting Florida's economy, and uniting communities. Fewer pythons mean native species have a chance to recover, and the food web can rebuild. Hunters like Taylor Stanberry and Donna Khalil make the Everglades safer for wildlife. The Everglades is a tourism cornerstone. Controlling pythons protects this vital industry. Year-round removal programs create jobs and economic incentives for conservation. The Python Challenge has transformed a crisis into a hands-on community solution. It's raised awareness and inspired a new generation of conservationists. When people unite for nature, extraordinary things happen. The real story behind the beheaded pythons isn't a mystery, it's a mission. The culprits are conservation heroes, hunters, scientists, and volunteers working under strict ethical guidelines. Their work is a response to a human-caused crisis, released pets that became an ecological disaster. The Python Challenge proves that public action can make a difference. Champions like Taylor Stanberry inspire others and show what's possible. This is a story of hope, action, and community. The next time you see a dramatic headline, remember these are the true faces of conservation. Their efforts ensure the wild heart of the Everglades beats strong for generations to come.